Hello, you're welcome. I'm Victoria Okamaka, your coach personal matters concerning books, reading, and academics. Today, I'm reviewing Born on a Tuesday by Elnathan John. Elnathan John is a Nigerian writer, lawyer, and he has written books such as Born on a Tuesday, Becoming Nigerian, and other books. Born on a Tuesday is like one of the best stories I've ever read. No one that has won an award already. Now, Born on a Tuesday is a story about boys whose everyday life is thuggery. The main character is Ahmed or Dantala, he used the two names in the story. To them, Thogri is just like a normal life. There could nothing that could have been better, even when one or more of their friends die from it. They will be more satisfied to be given like 150 or 200 naira to just go do the Thogri of politicians or anyone that just could pay them. There was conflict in the northern part of Nigeria where they lived. This conflict, it's majorly religious conflicts and it's hard to front. The first is agitations and killings of Muslims themselves, within themselves, those that have different political views or religious views or even different views on education. Then the second front is the killing of those who do not like Muslims, those who hate Muslims, the Muslims killing those who do not like them. Now, in this conflict, these boys were used as thugs, especially in the political aspect, those who have different political views, they were used as thugs for the government to achieve their propaganda or to do their underground work. Even when the main character left Sabongari, which was the place it all started with him, to another community, it was the beginning of the whole experience, it's an up and downs for him. One on a Tuesday was set in the northern part of Nigeria around the year 2003. The main language spoken by the people is Awosa, but all the outer words or phrases that were used were translated by the author to English. Most of them, not all of them, were translated by the author to English so that the reader can actually know what is happening. But it was written in English, but the language they were speaking was Aosa. And whoa, I actually learned some Aosa words and phrases, which by the way, I regret not writing out because I've forgotten most of them by now. I got a hint of what the Amaji was like and it was normal for them to beg and then that they go to the mosque on Fridays or so to get food or beg for food or for free food to be given to them. They were like, they were poor, you know, but yeah, they were poor and apart from being poor, it's not as if they loved for them to be given, for them to be, to beg to be given. And by the way, I didn't know Islam was divided. It was done for my own side because Christianity is not one, so why would Islam be one? But I thought that it was just one Islam, they had the same views. I got to know that it was not like that, they were divided, they were those that had different views, especially on education or, poli or politics than the others. So they were actually not one whole Islam, they are divided too. The story was narrated from the main character's point of view. There are, now there are some writing styles that I love, that I like, like writing styles that are simple or unique. Like I love the writing style of the girl with the louding voice by Abidare. I love that of a Broken People's Playlist by Chimeka Garrix. There is, it's unique. That one is unique. Now, Born on a Tuesday is on the simple side. I loved the writing, the writing style because it was simple and I could, I had no stress, you know, like it was just flowing. Dan Talao was telling his story, which Dan Talao is the main character. I was telling his story from his own point. His friend uh, Banda even complained that he does not know how to tell the story. He was just saying it the way he it was in his mind in simple sentences it, it was not complex it was not like long it was just the way it is i love this i did this i thought of this simple and when banda said that he didn't know how to tell a story i was laughing because my storytelling skills were worse like if i'm telling you a story and i look at you, your facial expression like i don't understand i was pause there start explaining what happened start explaining the situation so you can get a hint of what actually happened in the story and if further your facial expression says i don't understand i'll pause right there explain further things that may help you understand and by the end a story that would have been straight would have been zigzag you wouldn't even want to know and then sometimes when it gets worse i'll just like long story short this happened and that would be oh one on the tuesday generally had things of Poverty, religious conflict, hunger, tribalism. But Born on a Tuesday was a page turner. Apart from being a page turner, I really liked the writing style of the author. He connected me so much to the writing that after reading Born on a Tuesday, I was tempted to read Becoming Nigeria like next. 
I really love the way he read. And when I eventually read Becoming Nigeria, I was not disappointed. It was still very, very good. I still loved it. I loved his writings. I loved the way he writes. You know, it's one thing to like a book, another thing to like the way the author writes. This one is both for me. I loved the book. I loved the way the author writes. It was just all of it for me. <laughs> Judging that the book was set in the 21st century, it's was kind of amazing that these teenagers could be okay with them paying with someone paying them 150 or 200 naira for them to be thugs. But on a second thought, I was like, you know, loyalty is cheap when poverty is high. You can't really blame them for that. Not only when poverty is high, illiteracy also is high. And everything is considered to be allows you. If I kill my brother, if like if I literally stab him in the night and he dies it's allah's real but one thing i got from the book is that it's easy to judge people from afar but when you come close and maybe live with them you see that you are no different than they are apart from the writing style i love the common speech expressions that the author used i like books that use speech expressions it makes it look like the whole drama is happening in front of me and i'm seeing it like I, i'm in the discussion like he used speech expressions like so, Kai, I, like, all these outside expressions, some of them I've heard them before, so I kind of was into it. I love books that use this kind of speech expressions. Another book that uses these expressions is um, Broken People's Playlist by Chimeka Garrix. He used Sha. I love books that use these kind of expressions. I totally loved reading Born on a Tuesday, and I know you'd love it if you read it. Thank you for watching, thank you for stopping by. If there are books that you would love me to read and review if there are other recommendations i would love for me to read kindly drop them in the comment section i reply all my comments and then if this is your first time dropping by do do well to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button so that you will see these kind of videos when i post them and do like them so that it's be referred to others i'm going to leave a link to the book review playlist in the description box do go and check it out you will love them. It's still me, Victoria Okamaka, your go-to person on matters concerning books within an academics. Bless up. Mm -hmm.